Hello dear students. Welcome to the online classes of English. But before I start the class, let me congratulate all those exuberant learners who have qualified the 10th examinations and are ready to cruise the seas of All India Senior Secondary Certificate Examination. I am Dr. Sumant Kumar Jha and today I am going to teach you the first poem from Hornbill entitled A Photograph beautifully penned down by Shirley Toulson. She is one of the finest poet, teacher, educationalist, journalist and a renowned author. A photograph is a pictographic representation of emotions and uh, it is a gateway to past. It is a gateway to the past memories. We can search for solace, we can search for happiness, we can, we can search for the treasured and lost happiness through the photograph. Similarly, Shirley Toulson here remembers her mother by looking at an old photograph of her mother and she tries to relive the moment. She tries to relive and regain the happy moments of the past days. In this video lecture, I am going to discuss introduction to the poet, central idea or theme of the poem and the summary of the poem. In the second video lecture of this series, I'll discuss the paraphrase that is a line wise analysis of the poem and uh, at the same time I'll discuss the word meanings of the poem. The third video lecture in this series from Photograph would encompass the NCERT questions and answers. So let me first introduce the poet Shirley Toulson. Shirley Toulson was born on 20th May 1924 in Henley-upon-Thames, that is England. As a daughter of Douglas Horsfall Diction, uh, she had a huge passion on writing and was greatly influenced by her father, who was a writer too. Shirley Toulson has been writing books on the social history of the countryside since 1974. She is the leading authority on ancient tracks and drove roads and is also the author of The Drovers and The Drovers Roads of South Wales. The Celtic Year, which is one of the most celebrated work of uh, Shirley Toulson. The present poem, A Photograph, is a splendid portrayal of the uncertainty of life and death. Shirley Toulson met her sad demise on 15th May 2014. <music> Shirley Toulson's poem, A Photograph, is a tribute to her mother. It introduces the theme of memories and souvenirs 
into the conversation of mortality. Death is often thought as a culmination of change while life is brimming with motion. A photograph is a poem about a daughter-mother relationship. It is about coping with the loss of a beloved mother, about awareness of mortality and transience of life, love and laughter. The poem describes three stages in the passage of time. In the first stage, the photograph shows the poet's mother standing at the beach enjoying her holiday with her two cousins. She was around 12 years old at that time. The second stage takes us 20 or 30 years later. The mother would laugh at the way she and her cousins were dressed up for the beach holiday. In the third stage, the poet remembers the dead mother with a heavy heart. The photograph revives a nostalgic feeling in the poet. Now let us move to the summary or a brief synopsis of the poem, a photograph. A photograph, as earlier stated, is a tribute to the poet's mother. She is looking at an old photograph of her mother which has a frame of cardboard. The picture has three girls in which the middle one is the oldest and the tallest. She is her mother when she was 12 years old or so. Beside her, on both sides, are her two cousins, Dolly and Betty, who are holding her hands and are younger than her. They went for paddling on a beach holiday. Her uncle took the photograph then. The poet could not help but notice her mother's sweet face. The sea touched her terribly transient feet, which depicted that she changed over the years, but the sea remained the same. After 20, 30 years later, her mother would look at the photograph and laugh to see. She would make the poet even look at the photograph and tell her how their parents would dress them up for the beach holiday. The beach holiday was her mother's favorite past memories while her laughter was the poet's favorite memory. Both of them lost something which they cherished a lot and yet cannot live that moment again. Both wanted to recapture and relive the moment, but it was all futile. Those sweet moments were memories now. Now, the poet's mother had been dead for the past 12 years, which is the same number as of her age when the photograph was taken back then. She cannot express her grief that she has from her mother's absence. She can only weep and cry. And she had no other word to say other than silence. So there was silence surrounding her. She was quiet. She was mum. She was depressed. She was sorrowful at the death of her mother. So in this video lecture, we have discussed the introduction to the poet. We have discussed the central idea or theme of the poem. 
and the brief summary or synopsis of the poem. In the second part of the video lecture, I'll discuss the paraphrase that is line-wise analysis of the poem along with the difficult word meanings. And in the third section of this video lecture, I'll discuss the NCERT questions. I hope by now the students would have uh, got a framework of the story woven by Shirley Toulson. They would also have uh, felt the emotions latent here through the words of the poet. This is the end of the first video lecture series. Thank you.